everybody, welcome to Simple Hobby Homesteading. I am Jenna and today we are making kale chips. And first of all, uh, full disclosure, there are dogs in here and so you might hear pitter patter. Um, okay, there's like a really bad shadow. Ooh, okay, we're gonna take off the hat. Hat hair, just, uh, I don't know, hat hair. <laughs> so don't judge, don't judge that. Um, the oven just preheated to 350 degrees because we are making kale chips. So if you haven't gone back and watched our day one of the 40 day challenge, go back and watch that video because then you'll have a little bit of an idea of why we're making kale chips today and so on and so forth. Today we're going to make kale chips because I love potato chips and I know I'm going to want something salty and crunchy. Um, during this 40 day challenge and we grow plenty of kale in the garden. So this morning I went out and I picked a bunch of kale um, as well as lamb's quarters and I picked um, sugar snap peas and I picked uh, or I gathered eggs and then I also picked some hibiscus. I was trying to remember what all did I pick this morning. Um, also picked some hibiscus flowers. And so that's going to be, uh, we're drying those hibiscus flowers for a tea that I'm going to have in a couple days. Uh, but for now I'm going to make some kale chips. So we have uh, this kale and I washed it and I've let it sit out on this paper towel for uh, the last couple hours. And what I'm going to do now is just dry it off. Uh, you want to just make sure that the kale is, is dry when you make your kale chips. Um, you can use a salad spinner or you can just use paper towels or just regular towels. And we're going to dry off that kale and then they say, they by the internet, um, says you can cut it away from the stem. But I just choose to just kind of peel it away from the stem. Um, and you are putting it in bite sized pieces on parchment paper. And yes, I'm sitting down so that way you can see me a little bit better and still see the kale. Parchment paper, uh, Reynolds, or any other brand you want to get um, in the baking aisle or whatever aisle has like your parchment paper and saran wrap and aluminum foil and things like that. So we are just making sure this kale is dry and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. So let's get all this kale dry and ripped up into bite-sized pieces. As you can see we ripped up about I would say about eight to ten leaves um, we might have room for one more right here and I can simply stick the rest of these kale leaves in the fridge to make another batch later uh, or I might make another batch right after this we'll see um, this batch I'm gonna do half sea salt just plain sea salt and the other half I'm gonna do with our homemade Italian seasoning um, and that homemade Italian seasoning, um, I will put, if I remember, I'll put the recipe in the comments of this video, but you can also find it in our video, the best ever pasta salad. It's the same seasoning I make in that video. Uh, and so if you want to go back and watch that video and figure out how to make the best pasta salad ever, you can do that and get the recipe. But I'll try to remember to put in the comments of this one. So I'm just going to simply drizzle these with olive oil and I have the oven preheated at 350 degrees. And this parchment paper is just on a simple insulated baking sheet or you can do uh, stoneware or whatever. But I'm going to drizzle olive oil and I love this olive oil. It's from Cyprus. I love uh, my sister-in-law there. So I'm just going to drizzle with olive oil. And if you have an olive oil sprayer, oh that's even better. Um, I threw mine away because it just kept clogging up. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know if it was my fault or the sprayer's fault or what, but it just kept clogging up and it wasn't worth the cupboard space, you know, having it in the cupboard. And so we drizzle with olive oil. So nice. Oh, I love the smell of olive oil. So, and then sea salt. I have sea salt in my wonderful amber uh, colored uh, quart jars and these are really nice because they don't allow the sunlight in. I have them on top of a shelf over by um, kind of the side of some big bay windows that are fine because they're north facing and we have tons of trees uh, so it doesn't get a lot of sun but anyways it helps keep preserve my seasonings when they're in these amber colored jars. And you can find those in most stores but I am getting some sea salt and I'm just going to simply sprinkle sea salt over the kale. So I have a feeling this is going to be really, really nice when I'm looking for a crunchy, salty treat uh, that is similar to chips 
or it's just going to be the biggest letdown. I made kale chips once before. Um, I can't remember. Oh, I think just healthy eating prompted me to do it. Um, just wanting to eat a little healthier. But I didn't love them. Uh, and back then I didn't love them because I'm using lots of sea salt. I am. Because some of it's going to fall off too when I bag them up. Um, but uh, one reason I didn't love them back then is because I got tons of kale stuck in my teeth. And I was running everywhere and here and there and everywhere. And I was just like, oh, I don't want to have a bunch of kale stuck in my teeth. But uh, I'll just remember to brush my teeth before I head out if I've been eating these. So next we're going to put on half of these kale chips. We're going to put some of our homemade Italian seasoning. And oh, that, oh, that smells so good. And that's just going to go on half because I don't know how I'm going to like this Italian seasoning on here. So if I don't like them, it's not a huge deal. And as you saw up in the garden um, from that day one of the 40 day challenge video, I've got so much kale up there. So we need to find a lot of creative ways to use this kale. So we are going to stick these in the oven for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. And we're just going to keep an eye on them the whole time. And I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks. Yummy. Look at these kale chips. Well, they're not chips yet. They're getting ready to head to the oven. Bake well, my little sweeties. Alrighty, folks, they are done. And I let it go a little bit long. I forgot to set the timer. And as you can see, um, the pieces that have the Italian seasoning, um, it's a little bit brown. And that's just because of, the, I'm guessing, the onion powder or the garlic or something like that. Um, but I think they're going to still taste really, really good. Uh, but the ones that just have the sea salt, um, some places it's, it's piled a little thick, uh, but when we bag, when we let them cool and bag them up, uh, they will drop some of that sea salt and so it won't be as clumped there. Uh, so these, as you can see, they made, um, they shriveled, not shriveled, they shrunk, I should say. They shrunk a bit and so that's, you want the one layer so that way the top ones don't get super crispy and the, the bottom ones not cook at all. So yeah, they actually look really good. I'm going to try one here in a second. Alrighty folks, as you saw, we are done with our kale chips and these cooked about 16, 17 minutes. They got a little bit overdone. Um, I forgot to set the timer, but they're actually almost perfect. They're not burnt. Uh, they are crispy and so you can, you can pick them up like this and they hold their shape, they're crispy. So I'm going to try one with just the sea salt. I'm so curious to see what they taste like. Um, just one with just the sea salt right here. Mmm, very salty. I probably used just a little bit too much sea salt, but like I said, once I, they, they uh, cool off and I bag them up, they'll lose some of that sea salt uh, will get you know rubbed off of them or shaken off of them uh, so they won't be as salty but they almost melt in your mouth that absolutely incredible uh, the plain sea salt that would definitely uh, cure um, my need for like a salty chip absolutely phenomenal so I'm gonna try next I'm gonna try the one with the Italian seasoning and that was a little spicy so I'm gonna blow on this one first not spicy that was a little hot uh, so I'm gonna blow on this one first before I pop it in my mouth but, um, oh, I can't wait. That one was a little hot. Okay. A little over seasoned. But once again, I think some of that seasoning is going to come off as well when I put them in the bag. Uh, but yes, a little seasoning goes a long way. So that's probably my takeaway for this, doing it next time. A little less seasoning. Uh, what I'll probably do is do it in my fingers rather than the spoon. I uh, do it in my fingers and just really lightly dust them with the salt and the Italian seasoning. Uh, but we will see because I'm going to let these um, be cool off and then bag them up and then uh, try them a little bit tonight, try some tomorrow and see. But this is honestly, this is like a no guilt potato chip. It is absolutely phenomenal. And I'm not sure, can you see my teeth? Do I have lots of little green bits in my teeth? I honestly want another one. I mean, that's how good they are. They're really, really good and super easy. Uh, the only thing that's annoying is to get like a whole bag of these. Um, I would need a ton of kale, which I've got, but also making them in batches of 15 minutes um, could be a little time consuming. But if you just gave like an hour or two to making chips, you could have like two huge bags of chips uh, that would last you a while. So absolutely phenomenal. Well done, us. Thank you. Remember, subscribe, like, share your favorite video. 
uh, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe down below. We are climbing on subscribers and I am loving that. So subscribe down below and you guys have a great day doing what you can with what you have wherever you are. Happy 40 day challenge, day one. Mmm. So thirsty.